hey y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is mink and there we go my name is mink's kinks or chill my name is mink and this is mink's kinks um so welcome or welcome back it's another vlog it's real ratchet and ghetto i got my pimple patches on like i don't know what's happening to my face but <laughs> yeah i'm not even i'm not even about to go there okay um <laughs> So I just wanted to pick up the camera because I actually have stuff to do this week. Um, my sister is in town. If you know, uh, my sister, Sydney, I'll post a pop-up of her because I'm so obsessed with her. She's just so freaking cute. Um, she's in school and um, when she comes home, she asks me for hair products. There's no sense of her going to go buy products when she has a sister who has... It, it, yeah, yeah. So I um, decided to go ahead and pick up my camera sorry the the it was weird um so i wanted to go ahead and pick up my camera because i'm pulling a couple products out my stash for her now she already sent me the text she said uh, mimi because my family calls me mimi um she was like i don't need no shampoos no conditioners no masks just leave-ins mm -hmm, and all of those things so um there's actually a couple things that i do want to give her um so actually let me come over here real quick so you guys saw in my um or if you didn't see actually i have a bunch of cream of nature mousses right but i don't really like any of them to be quite honest um i don't know they just really don't hit like that for me but i do have video ideas for all of them that i want to do the coconut one i haven't used any of the coconut line i want to use that together the pure honey I want to try it. I had the curl activator and I want to try it with the twisting cream as a leave-in. And then the regular argan oil one. I just want to see how it works with the spray leave-in. Even though I don't really like either one of them. But I just need to know for my own sanity. So um, the next time she comes home, hopefully I'll have had some of those videos done. So I can give her a mousse. Because I know she's been liking mousses lately. But um, I got things I want to try with the mousses first. So out of the products that I am giving her... Um, they're they're super random. Y'all know I have a very random stash. Let me try and sit my camera down. Child, my my angles just get worse and worse. Y'all are crooked, but you know I'm doing my best here. Don't mind my couch. It's right after Christmas, so I got a bunch of laundry. The hood blow dryer. It, child, I don't know why I thought the hood blow dryer was just gonna like collapse down or something. So I gotta figure out where I want to put it and all of that. But you know, we're, that's not what we're here for. I'm I'm you know i'm just talking so um the first product i have here for her is this cantu daily oil moisturizer um it's 13 ounces sydney doesn't really care so much about um like silicones or any of that stuff she actually straightens her hair um a heck of a lot more regular than i do or does like braids and stuff so um i think that this would be better off for her it's 13 ounces i did use a pretty good amount it's like maybe two-thirds of the bottle left so yeah and i remember i did like it so next i have the shea miracle it's the african pride shea miracle curl activator moisturizing jelly so um there's only a little bit left in here but i figured she could try this on her hair sydney's curls are um she has more density but less her her curl pattern isn't as dense as mine in some sections or um as coily as mine in some sections and her hair is i don't want to say finer but it's like softer if you know you know her hair is softer um another one i pulled out my stash i know she does a lot of buns and stuff i have this smooth and shine fine botanical oils curl for curly and coily hair curl defining gel it says it leaves curls light and helps prevent frizz um, that's this one and honestly I really do want to try this gel but I literally haven't I've had this for years and I've never pulled it out my stash and this is one that I can find myself parting with now listen so y'all know I have a crazy stash because why do I even still have these products left this is the Shea Moisture Sacha Inchi Oil Rescue and Repair Curl Define a Smoothie in the Matching Gel and I was going to give these to her before I found these two so it, 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 Shea Moisture was saved by the bell this time because I do want to try this one over the other ones that I'm giving her um, because I tried those so 
So the ones that I decided to go ahead and give her are the Bella Curls. This is the Coconut Whipped Cream Leave-In. It's 16 ounces. And then there's the Coconut Cream Curl Defining Cream. And again, this is 16 ounces as well. So I decided I'll go ahead and give her these. These are last for a while. When I used this, I think I actually only used it once. And I was ending up giving some to my friend or when I would do my friend's hair and stuff. But it's literally still like right here. It's still practically full. And um, the curl definer as well is a pretty good size. And these smell really, really, really good. And I want to say these were in like Dollar General or something when I picked them up. It says it's zero sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, phthalates. So they're pretty clean, but they do have silicones, which again, I don't really think Sydney's going to care too much about. So yeah, those are the products I'm going to go ahead and give her um, to make sure that her hair is stout and everything. Um, but yeah, so... This week, um, it's actually already Tuesday. It's the weekend after New Year's or the week after New Year's. So I think that everybody's kind of adjusting everything. I can't look at myself here no more. Uh, I hate this for me, y'all. Um, I don't know where I want this to go. This is even worse. Oh my God, like what is going on? <sighs> okay, so I'm actually sitting at my desk. I'm gonna make this quick because I don't like this either, but I'm tired of trying to figure out somewhere to hold my camera because I don't feel like holding it. Um, but yeah, so today's Tuesday. It is um, the work week, the Tuesday after um, New Year's Eve. So yeah, it's been real cute. Sydney goes back to school this weekend. So me and her are going to have a big sister date. So um, we're going to go to like a bougie fancy restaurant. Yeah, it's so much fun um, now that we're both older now and have our own money. Um, so we're going to do that on Friday and then I also have my wax appointment on Friday, but I took a half day. So, um, yeah, we're not going to dinner till later. My wax appointment's not till six anyway, cause I wasn't going to take a half day, but yeah, I'm rambling y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my crazy house. I do want to give y'all a house tour really bad. Um, but my house actually has to be clean to give you guys a house tour. So, um, we're working on it, but I just wanted to show you guys those products I pulled out for Sydney. So yeah, I will see you guys hopefully when I look more presentable and have actually something going on. Hey y'all. So I came on here because I finally, yeah, finally, sorry y'all, I don't like the way this is set up, but I finally got my Sultanicals packages from Black Friday. So um, they came in two separate bags or a bag and a box, chill. Let's open a bag first. But yeah, I ordered from Sultanicals on Black Friday. Today is the 5th of January. Who knows when y'all see it, but Today's the 5th of January. Don't mind the Christmas cover. It'll be put up this weekend. Mind your business. Um, I just feel like this is ridiculous. Like, the wait time is crazy to me. Um, and I should have learned my lesson last year when I bought from Sultanicals and didn't get them until the new year. But I didn't. And they came out with new products. And they had a 55% off sale. And I literally only got three things. Like, why did this take six weeks? Come on like i don't like that i think that that was a bit much and i won't be buying from, from sultanicals during um black friday because granted do i need the products no like i don't need them immediately because y'all know i have a crazy hair stash but i just feel like waiting six weeks like i shouldn't have to pay for shipping if i have to wait six weeks like you got to pick a struggle i shouldn't ha why am i paying for shipping if i have to wait six weeks to get the products and for me, I don't feel like Sultanicals is a small brand like that anymore to keep using that excuse. Um, because I feel like the brands be wearing it out. With though, we're a small business. If you're an Ulta, you're not a small business. Sorry, you're not. Um, Sultanicals is very prominent in the natural hair community. And um, you can tell by their sales that they, they sell out stuff all the time. Even when it's not a sale, they sell out all the time. So I don't know what they need to do, but they need to figure out the shipping quick. Either you don't charge for shipping if you're going to take six weeks <laughs> um, or try to, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they need to do, but um, for me, I won't, to me, uh, Mink won't be shopping no sales for Sultanicals. That's enough for me. Mm -mm. But I also don't really see me paying full price for Sultanicals either. So, you know, yeah. Um, so the first thing that I got was the Hibiscus Killer Mask. Y'all know I did a review on this um pretty recently sometime last year and i really did like it so i wanted to pick up another one of these and that was the only thing in that package so um i don't know where it was that one was shipped from maryland this one was shipped from 
Maryland as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, but they were shipped separately as you guys saw. I will say that Sultanicals kept sending out an email basically saying that you agreed to wait four to six weeks. But that doesn't make it right. Four to six weeks is crazy. Um, I, I think. I think. Um, so yeah, these are my other two products. So I got the Glide and Sleek Ayurvedic Fenugreek Hair Grease. So that's what this one looks like. And um, this one, it looks like it melted a bit and it's not filled up all the way. So y'all can see that it's definitely not filled up all the way, which um, is annoying because you wait all this time to get the products. At the bare minimum, they should be full, girl. Um, but okay, and then I got the Ayurvedic Scrub Chicago Kai Scalp Scrub. That's what this one looks like. I like the packaging that this is in. And I actually am going to open this one up too because I'm going to use this during my co-wash weeks. So. Um. I don't really like the smell. But you know. Um, And I definitely didn't expect it to be a. It's more creamy than anything. That's. Cool. And even when I touch it, I'm not feeling any scrub in there. It just feels creamy. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I need to read up on products before I just start buying stuff. So it says this scalp scrub eliminates dirt, oil, sweat, dead skin cells, and other impur impurities on your scalp without stripping it of natural moisture. This is an intensive triple action scrub. It deeply purifies the scalp and roots, stimulates hair growth by increasing blood flow and follicles, and three, balances sebum production and prevents dandruff. Um, okay, I'm intrigued to see how that works because I didn't expect it to be a cream. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here real quick just to let you guys know that my package finally came. <laughs> um, I miss my lashes so much. I feel bald. You want to give them an introduction? Hi, so we are here at Del Crisco's mm -hmm. and they brought out some bread. Yep. We got some water just to start. Yep. Samantha got a lemon cup. Of course. And we're waiting on our food now. I got the roasted chicken mm -hmm. and we got mashed potatoes to share and she, to me, I got the scallops. Yep. And we're super excited to eat. Um, <laughs> stay tuned. I'm Tamiya's sister, by the way. What's your name? My name is Sydney. I'm oh. sure y'all heard around me before. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh. And you guys can follow me on Instagram at Sydney Janelle, S Y B N E Y J A N E L L E. Oh. Not the kids. Girl, bye. <laughs> So I actually wanted to come on real quick because I actually have a little haul of stuff here. I'm not showing my face child because it is literally a real late and I just wanted to show y'all these real quick so that I could put them away. So the first thing that I picked up is the Bee Girl, Bee Girl Gel Honey Custard. Girl, this. By the do. All the girls have been talking about this Bee Girl um, Custard. And custards usually don't work for me so I'm excited to try it. Y'all know that for Christmas, I did get the Dew, um, what is it, Big Papa Gel. So now I have both of their gels, which I'm really excited about. That's really primarily what I wanted to try from this brand. I heard that their deep conditioner co-wash situation is also really good, but I know that it also has silicones, and I don't use silicones that often, and I already have a ton of silicone products. So let me try these first, and then we'll, we'll double back. Next, y'all, so my aunt actually texted me today. I'm um, sending me a picture of this asking if I have ever tried it and I think this is a new Dr. Bronner scent so this is sandalwood and jasmine not sure why my camera is not focusing but 
there we go so there it is it is made with organic coconut olive and hemp oils but you know what that's all of them never mind take it back but yeah the sandalwood and jasmine so i'm really excited they only had this size bottle and it was $7.99 so i picked it up because y'all know i'm a dr bronner's girl and then I did go ahead and get the same size in the almond. I love the way the almond smells. And then I also picked up the lavender. Y'all, the one I have is almost gone. And I just always have to go down and get one. So I figured I'd pick up a couple. Especially since I wasn't leaving the new one anyway. So this is the lavender. I have used the lavender before. I've never finished a whole bottle of it. So I'm excited to try that. And I have some lavender lotions that I want to use up. And body washes. So it's perfect time, man. And this one was $11.99. Good morning, you guys. So I just wanted to hop on real quick because I know that perfume is one of those things that is trending right now. And I don't know, y'all. I'm definitely feeding into it a little bit. So I decided to go ahead and show you guys my perfume collection because I've been adding to it a lot lately because of the girlies reels and TikToks and YouTube videos and all of that. So I figured I'd come and show you guys my small little baby beginner collection. So let's go ahead and just get started real quick. So in the back here, I have four um, Bath and Body Works Body Mist. So this one is Pretty as a Peach. And as you guys can see this one's about halfway gone i typically use these little body mists like after a shower um you know i work from home so just for a little smell good for that but i typically don't really wear these out anymore i also have a thousand wishes i have wild berry tulips which is kind of hard for it to come up because it's a clear um bottle and then last but not least of these, I have A Beautiful Day, which I also keep in my car as well. Next, I have this one from Mix Bar. This is a brand in Target. Not sure if they're still in Target, but that's what it is. And this is the Vanilla Bourbon. It's a hair and body mist. Um, it smells really good. I don't know that I would repurchase, though. I have the little um, baby spray of the Billy Irish perfume. I have another little baby Bath and Body Works one, and this is Vanilla Bean. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. Next is a perfume I've had literally forever. This is Justin Bieber's perfume. I don't even remember the name of it. I th maybe the One Less Lonely Girl Chat. I don't know. Um, but I love this perfume. And I've been holding on to it. But it's really time to use it up and let it go. Next I have this little roller ball. And it's in the this scent here. That's the scent. It's just a little oil perfumery. Next, this is my um, Butter Baby perfume. It's in the scent Eternal. Let me try and get it to focus, child. So this is what this one looks like. And as you guys can see, I've been using it. I actually really like it. This is um, from Booty Parlor. This is the Unforgettable perfume. This is a perfume in hair mist with the, what is it, pheromones? Pheromones? Yeah. It smells good, though. As you guys saw, I have the Billy Irish perfume. It came in the gift set with um, the full size and then the travel size spray. This next one is Ariana Grande's Air perfume. Is it Air or Ari? I don't know. And it doesn't say it on the bottle, so we're going to go with Ari, I guess. I have the gucci flora perfume i like this one it is in gardenia and i usually don't like gardenia but i do like this one and then last but not least i have this little versace perfume and it's in the scent euros e-r-o-s so yeah that's my little baby um perfume collection so i just wanted to hop on and show you guys real quick so um yeah i just decided to come on here and do a little bit of a chit chat with you guys while i do some skincare it's nothing too intense because i actually have to film today i know a lot of the girlies be getting dressed dressed i'm talking beat faces full fits like girl okay um that's not me per se so i just try to give y'all skin this is what my skin is looking like on the wake up crusty lips and all this is just what my skin looks like and y'all gonna take this this clear skin so i'm about to go ahead and wash my face with the youth to the people green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser um i know i have gotten quite a few comments about my skincare 
and um i do have a skincare video coming but i really want to film that once i get my hair braided in a couple weeks so i'm really really excited but y'all will get the video just just let me be presentable first so let me go ahead and wet my face and start washing my face and we'll talk okay you guys so um i know that by the time you guys see this it will be hopefully it's still january you know Hopefully it's still January when you guys see this. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all real quick about how this year has started for me. Um, it has really, really, really been crazy. And I feel like I saw a like tweet or Instagram something and it said um, the tears you cried in 2022 are the seeds you're planting in 2023. And baby... <laughs> baby okay let me wash this off real, real quick okay y'all sorry i needed to get that all off my face now i feel more awake and stuff but yeah um 2023 has started out so so good for me i didn't realize how um difficult 2022 was for me until the last few weeks of the year so if you guys have been following me for a while y'all have seen me through quite a few different phases and transitions and all of that all of that um y'all know that i am a 20 something and chap it is ghetto okay it is ghetto so um the beginning of this year i went through a breakup and it was really hard on my end um and i was i tried to be as transparent as i could be with you guys um about that situation without telling y'all the situation if you know what i'm saying so um i had a lot of growing pains from that situation um so that was definitely difficult and then i jumped straight into getting my tonsils removed and baby okay um i did do like a vlog situation so i'll link that up above but that was traumatic okay i went back and watched that video and oh my god it's like i could feel what was happening to me all over again um so i feel like this last year 2022 i did a lot of self-discovery okay so you guys know that my birthday is february 3rd so in a couple weeks um and i will be 24 and chap i don't know what is going on with me but i i don't know if it's my frontal lobes developing or you know what's going on but i feel like i am like so in tune with myself right now um and that is one of the best takeaways of the year for me the year was very very hard but it also forced me to ask myself the hard questions and I'm really just trying to tap in with Tamia and figure out what it is that I needed, what I wanted for myself. Um, and I feel like that I have a lot of gratitude for that situation. So 2023, let me tell y'all. So as you guys can see, me and Sid went to dinner. My sister's name is Sydney. I don't know if I ever told y'all that, but that's my sister. Um, my baby sister, who's not so much of a baby, but I digress. So um me and sydney went to dinner i love a bougie luxury dinner experience i love 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 that and that was something i was introduced to in my last relationship so it was um like a full circle situation by doing it with my sister who loves me unconditionally period so yeah i love that um like i said i came into the year very peaceful very serene i didn't even go out child like i was in the house i was like in bed on new year's eve by like one because i'm a grandma so you know it was just a good time and i feel like i've been um more intentional about the things that i've been doing so y'all know as of lately i have been reading a ton of books so right now i'm reading the defining decade by meg J. i'll post a pop-up so that you guys can see what that book looks like but it basically talks about um how the 20s is like it's a transitional period like it's it's definitely a big girl period now but you it's definitely a transitional phase um which I, i'm learning more and more every day honey i'm learning more and more every day but um yeah so that has been good i have been sort of trying to um 
create more and just um take every moment and make it content somehow but I'm still trying to also do a balancing act of actually living in the moment it's really hard to always have a camera to document and then also be in that moment so I'm still learning the balance between that and it's working out well for me and also y'all if you let me spray my face hold on because it's getting a little ashy so i'm going in with the pixie hydrating milky mist so that's what it looks like mine is just about gone um honestly this isn't my favorite product i like the mario badescu um if you watch my empties y'all have seen i have emptied out whew, many a bottle of mario and i decided to pick this up because i know that everybody likes pixie and usually i let my face wash like dry on my skin and then i go in with a mist and then my um serum or moisturizer of the day but i don't know this dries down and feels like nothing so i probably wouldn't repurchase it but i know the girlies love pixie so comment it down below um some products you love from them or just a different like hydrating mist that you like that's another thing it's a real real fine mist um so i have to spray a lot and i don't really like all that but yeah so another really really big thing that has been happening for me so um i had a brand send me a product i posted that review i'll link it up above that went well i love when i could put y'all onto a small black woman owned brand come on get into it i literally love that that is my ish okay that is that's my jam um especially when the products are actually good so i love that they enjoyed the review um child they're actually sending me their other product which shout out to them because i did want to try it anyway but um that happened i chat the other day mind you okay okay tamia Real it in girl. Y'all know I'm chaotic. So um I posted a TikTok and Instagram reel months ago during the summer with the effigy curlific products. You guys have seen those on my channel before. Um they're they're just products that I have, they're products that I used to reach to a lot more, especially during the summertime, but they have silicone, so I really haven't been pulling for them a lot channel please tell me why effigy must have saw the tiktok because they followed me on tiktok and then um they reposted my tiktok on their their page and then they did the same thing over on their instagram and mind you this was such a big deal because i've been using effigy since i was a kid a, a, a child okay get into it so it's definitely one of those um full circle type of moments so i definitely really appreciate it i always appreciate when brands see your content and interact with your content um just to let you know that you know they see you because it's really free promo for them um and i really don't have to do that so i really appreciate when they interact somehow with my content um they don't have to but i i, I look at the brand a little bit differently when they do okay um so they reposted it to their instagram as well and their instagram has over fifty thousand followers on on this okay so that is very rewarding for me because that gives me access to so many more people or so many more people get to see me in that um ig reel or tiktok from their platform so i really really appreciated that that was such a big moment for me because effigy is in sally's all across the country child so it was really significant and special for me okay so i really really appreciated that moment and it was big like all of this has happened in the first couple weeks of january so wow wow okay wow okay so i am very excited for what the rest of 2023 has to bring for me um i'm just really excited i feel like i feel like i'm at the threshold of something really big something very special and i needed last year to almost prime me get get into it come on pastor i'm giving y'all a word i needed to go through that last year so that i can go through what i'm about to so i can endure god is preparing me for a season okay it's a season so i'm very 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 excited i'm very hopeful 
I know that you guys have seen me at highs and you guys have seen me at very low lows and you guys have given me a word, okay? Y'all were giving me words of wisdom and of affirmation and of just positivity and I love you guys so much, okay? Because y'all just be typing up these comments and probably don't think about it for the rest of y'all day. But for me, I really do appreciate it. So shout out to y'all. But yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and pre poo my hair because as y'all can see, it's given rusty, it's given dusty, it's given washed. They should have been several days ago. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pre -boo. Um, I think I pick up the camera. I'm cooking tonight, so I'm gonna pick up the camera when um, it's time to make dinner. <laughs> y'all so i just finished cooking dinner the rice the beans um my burrito shells and then my shrimp are over there and i'm gonna do lettuce and um onion and just some ranch but y'all since i'm already here i had my seamoss set for um 24 hours and this is what it looks like and it said um to go ahead and like blend it so i have my little ninja bullet here and I'm about to make some gel. Okay you guys so I just wanted to come back on to let you guys know that I did make the sea moss that I told you guys about and this is disgusting. Like it's literally disgusting. Um so if you have any tips on how to make it taste better please let me know. But that's the end of today's video so I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. I love you. Bye.